Daily Aspirin Use Linked to Cancer Prevention. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, a number of studies have shown that daily use of even a baby aspirin at 75 milligrams a day can reduce risk of cancer. And a recent systematic review of the most valid studies published in Lancet on March 21, 2012 basically gave us it's very similar evidence. This research report by uh, Peter Rothwell and fellow researchers showed that even taking a baby aspirin a day cut uh, cancer risk by 37 percent in users compared to non-users. It also reduced the spread of cancer or metastasis by 55 percent in people who developed cancer while they were on aspirin compared to non-users. But the thing is that the only people in these studies are people that have cardiovascular disease. That's, that's who you normally put on even a baby aspirin a day to thin their blood. And the problem is that we're seeing that one of the side effects of aspirin is that it can lead to bleeding in the intestinal tract or even bleeding into the brain. And that's the reason why the Oxford researchers who just did all this review of the evidence still do not recommend the daily use of aspirin, even at low dose, for cancer prevention among the general population. If a person is a high risk for a heart attack or stroke and they need to be on a baby aspirin to thin their blood because they're in a real high risk category, then there's probably uh, you know, a, a benefit to using aspirin in those conditions. There's still a risk of bleeding, but that would be the person who's appropriate. They don't recommend that just people who don't have risk factors for vascular disease start taking aspirin to prevent cancer. That's my point. So how does aspirin actually reduce the risk of cancer? Well, aspirin blocks an enzyme that converts one of the bad fats in the diet called arachidonic acid into prostaglandin series 2, a, a local hormone. And that local hormone, when, it, when the body makes it, speeds up the rate at which cells divide. When cells divide too fast, they make more genetic mistakes and it leads to more mutations. And if the mutations are there, the cell's dividing too quickly, it can't fix the mistakes. So cancerous mutations occur, the cell becomes cancerous. Aspirin blocks the enzyme so you don't build up that dangerous hormone. And therefore, the cell division slows down. There's fewer genetic mistakes, less of a chance cancer is going to develop. But again, the, the side effects of even low-dose aspirin is intestinal bleeding and possibly bleeding into the brain. And at higher do aspirin taken at higher doses has other problems, of course, liver damage, kidney damage, congestive heart failure, high blood pressure. So the question is, is there anything natural that can do the same thing that aspirin does, block the buildup of the dangerous hormone prostaglandin series 2 without having side effects? like bleeding and, and uh, you know, intestinal ulceration. And the, and the truth is there's four amazing natural herbs that do the same thing. White willow bark extract, been shown to, in head-to-head -head trials, blocks the same enzyme so you don't build up prostaglandin series 2. It doesn't have side effects of bleeding. Also curcumin from the spice turmeric. It blocks the buildup of that dangerous hormone. It has other anti-cancer properties, as seen in some clinical trials even with human patients now. And the herb known as Boswellia blocks those prostaglandins that are linked to cancer and inflammation. And so does ginger. So these natural agents work the same way as aspirin, but they don't cause the risk of bleeding, liver damage, kidney damage, and so on. So as a result of that research, which I've looked at over many years, I take a capsule, I take two capsules each day that contains the combination of white willow bark extract with curcumin, with ginger, and Boswellia. But you have to know what dosage and standardized grades to look for. So click on the, the link below and read my article. It's called Curcumin and Other Anti-Inflammatory Herbs in Cancer Prevention and Adjunctive Management. All the scientific references are there so you know you're getting the right information from me. I believe it should be part of cancer prevention as part of your campaign, whether you're taking a baby aspirin or not. Now at MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads of resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll know you're getting sound, evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So make sure that you use MachinoHealth.com. It's an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.